Hello guys, and I am with, here with your WWE Raw December 12, 2016 preview, guys. And the headline of tonight's show is the triple threat match stands between The New Day and Immortality, guys. Basically, this Raw is built completely around the Raw Tag Team Championships and The New Day making history. It says, WWE Week on USA Network kicks off in exciting fashion as Raw Tag Team Champions the New Day defend their titles against the teams of Cesaro and Sheamus and Gallows and Anderson. If Kingston, Big E and Xavier Woods can at last this challenge, they essentially become the longest reigning tag team champions in WWE history. With a merry milestone highlight the New Day's holiday season, guys. So, wow, I just learned that this match will be kicking off the show. I definitely think the New Day will be retaining their Raw Tag Team Championships. And break the record guys and become the longest reigning tag team champions as the current longest tag team champions demolition or like in a lawsuit battle with WWE they're not in a good place so they're obviously gonna make the new day win guys. Um so the quick hits for the show Iron Sharpens Iron and Sasha Banks and Charlotte Flair aim to set up a score. Best friends no more. Emelina makeover is hair. Enzo Murray checks in, but he doesn't check out. Will McFoley gives Sami Zayn his match with Braun Strowman. And Sharpens Iron, so the Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks situation, guys, is getting a bit too far. I've said it already many times, guys. It's getting pretty boring all the time we see them, guys. Um, so, basically, Charlotte destroyed Sasha Banks after... Moments after we learned that Sasha will defend her title against Charlotte in a 30 minute WWE Iron Woman match at Raw end of the line A battle that will serve as the decisive and perhaps final battle of one of the new era's most personal rivalries guys I hope this is their last match Charlotte and Sasha Banks And I don't think this match is going to be half as good as what Sasha Banks and Bailey did at NXT last year in their Iron Woman match guys I don't think this match is going to top it up, but we will see, won't we? We will find out, guys. I really don't know what they're going to do with Sasha Banks and Charlotte tonight. I don't really care. Best friends no more, guys. The great Chris Jericho faced off against Superman Superman 2.0, the WWE United States Champion, Roman Reigns, for the United States Championship. Chris Jericho told Owens, the WWE Universal Champion, before the match not to come out. Owens came out, disobeyed, Chris Jericho distracted Jericho, Jericho sent him away, Jericho and um, Owens left, and Chris Jericho ate a spare. So Roman Reigns retained his United States Championship, guys. I definitely think Roman Reigns should use, lose the United States Championship tonight, guys. I don't see the point of it being on him. I've said it many times. The United States Championship is a prop on Roman Reigns. It is nothing more than a prop on Roman Reigns, guys. Um, I don't think he should have the championship at all because he's going to fight for the Universal Championship. With him being champion, they have an absolutely no mid-card. Kevin Owens, I don't know what they're going to do with Owens and Reigns. And they still have build-up with Jericho and Rollins, so I'm interested with that, guys. Emelina makeover is here, finally. Emma is making her return, guys. She's been repackaged as Emelina for the past, like, six weeks. Um, after her devastating and tragic injury, she, she so it's got, let me start, before that, she was, as far as she started off as a cheesy face, they changed the hill, it was going well, a few months later, she got her injury, guys, um, I think this is very, very bad for her career, and now it's time for her to come back and they're repackaging her as Emelina, I don't know why is this celebrity, this posh woman, I really don't know why, I don't know if she's going to be a heel or face, guys, but we'll find out. I'm kind of interested, but I think this is going to kill Emma. I think she should have just returned as a heel gimmick that she had before. As well, Mori checks in, but he doesn't check out. This is the thing that I'm actually most interested in. Enzo Mori, Lana, Rusev, and Big Cass, guys. This was the best thing on Raw last week when Lana seduced Enzo, basically tricked Enzo. They played Enzo, Lana, and Rusev. Enzo got... Destroyed for his troubles, Rusev absolutely destroyed him, guys, because of that, because he tried to flirt with Lana. Last bit, Will McFoley gives Sami Zayn his match with Braun Strowman. I think these two will be facing off against each other at Roadblock. The underdog from the underground versus the mountain of a man, Braun Strowman. 
Sami Zayn has said multiple times that Mick Foley is in his way, he's not getting anywhere. I think the best thing for Sami Zayn to do is be is for him to be is to be drafted to SmackDown Live, where he'll actually get use of his talents because he's doing absolutely nothing on Raw. He faced the Universal Champion last week, Kevin Owens, and guess what? He lost. There's no surprise about that. Sami Zayn, I don't know what he should do. This guy, this man should be the United States Champion on Raw, guys. I really don't know. I'm interested in seeing Braun Strowman and Sami Zayn. And guys, the women's division is basically Sasha Banks and Charlotte. No Bailey, Nia Jax, Alicia Fox. No build for them, guys. This is your world preview. Thank you for watching. Make sure to share, like, comment, and subscribe.